Hi angels, hi my loves, it's LB Lux Girl back again with another video. So in today's video, I have a really nice video for you guys. I have a follow-up video uh, in regards to my red vintage coach legacy bag. If that's something that you're interested in, then go ahead and keep on watching. And at the end of the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe on my channel. So a while back, you guys, I had did a rehab job on a couple of my vintage coach bags. And this beauty right here, my vintage red legacy bag was one of those bags. So a lot of you guys have been asking about her and how she turned out. So I wanted to go ahead and do this follow up video to let you guys know she's okay. She made it through the process. She's doing fine. So here she is completely rehabbed and restored. And the main thing that I want to tell you about your vintage red uh, bags, any vintage red bag, my legacy, but any vintage red bag, I mentioned this in a prior video, but I want to mention it again in case you missed it. Any vintage red coach bag that you purchase, try to get the best one in the best condition possible. Because when you rehab a vintage coach bag, a red one, you have to use a little bit more precaution than when you're rehabbing another vintage coach bag of another color like the black and the brown bags can take a lot more but the red ones you want to be very careful with the red ones because you don't want to lose any of the dye in the red ones because the dye excuse me <clears throat> the dye is what gives them their beautiful color so you don't want to lose any of that color so you have to be very careful with the red ones you don't want to you know, um, let them use too much of that dye. And then also you have to be careful with them when you're wearing them because they have so much red dye in them. You don't want color transfer on your clothing. So you kind of have to baby the vintage coach red bags, but they're worth it. They're worth it in the long run because look, look at how beautiful they are. And I have my ring light right here and I want to make sure that you guys see just how beautiful, you know, the red bags are. Whether it's a red legacy bag, a red, any type of vintage coach red bag. Also, be very careful with the conditioner. I don't put conditioner over my whole bag. Most of the time, normally, the middle of the bag doesn't need conditioner. I normally just put it on the edges, on the corners, because the corner is where you're going to get that edge, that edge wear. You know, you're not going to get it all over the bag. So mostly that's where I put my conditioner on the edges because that's where it's gonna be the most thirsty. That's the part of the skin, because that's what leather is, it's skin. When you think about it, um, that's where it's gonna have the most drying. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna pull my other phone up here because I wanna show you the picture of what the bag looked like. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I wanna show you what the bag looked like initially. Okay. Okay, here we go. This is what the bag looked like initially when I washed it. And on this photo right here, the bag was actually going through the drying process. It was going through the drying process. So when I showed you guys the bag, the bag was still wet and it was still damp. So it was still darkened. It was still darkened. And as you could see, as it dried, as it dried, you know, it's gonna resume and come back to its normal, regular color. So the measurements of the Legacy, let's go ahead and do the measurements. The measurements are 11 inches across. Ten inches tall. Ten inches tall and about three and a half inches wide. Three and a half inches wide. Three and a half to the, at the bottom where it's the widest, it's about four inches. So that was a little bit awkward the way I was holding it, but I just wanted to make sure I went ahead and give you guys the, gave you guys the measurements. So this is my beauty right here, my vintage red legacy bag. I just wanted you guys to know that she did turn out just fine. You know, I know you might've been worried about her when you saw the process of how she was wet initially when I washed her, but she's fine. I do have her stuffed right now. The interior is fine. Let me go ahead and take out the stuffing so that you guys can see the interior as well. Hopefully my ring light will let you be able to see, will be able to show you the interior. Hopefully you can see in there. 
Sometimes it's kind of hard to see the interior of the bags. Okay, there you go. But she she is fine. And don't, you know, I don't want to, if, if you think that, you know, the process that I did when you saw in my prior video, if that looks in, invasive or rough or if it's something that you don't want to do, then don't do it. You know, maybe you might want to take your bag someplace to have it professionally restored. Um, and, you know, because I don't ever want you to damage your bag or do anything to your bag. So if you can't handle the job, it's okay. You know, if you purchase a bag in any color, a vintage coach bag, whether it's black, brown, red, and if it's, you think it's too big of a job for you, then maybe you need to take it somewhere or to someone else that knows how to do it. You know, but if, if, if you can do it on your own, then go ahead. I wash them fully. Somebody else might not be comfortable with washing them fully. You might just want to wipe them out, you know. But for me, it is a pre-loved bag and it's leather and I feel like it could take it. I've purchased from Fashion File pre-loved. Now, they don't sell Vintage Coach on Fashion File. But when I purchase my Louis Vuitton bags or a Gucci bag or whatever from Fashion File, I try to purchase one that's good enough so that I don't have to do an invasive cleaning process on it. If I do purchase it, I still, when I get it, even if it's clean, I still put that bag, that Gucci bag or that uh, Louis Vuitton bag through my own cleaning process at home. I may not fully wash it like a coach, but I still clean it. So, you know, whenever you're buying a pre-loved bag off the pre-loved market, you have to clean it. You know, you're, you're taking on a bag that used to be owned by someone else. And, you know, other people, some people aren't as neat. They might not be a germaphobe like you with their bag. So you have to clean it, you guys. So, you know, with the vintage coach bags, you have to go ahead and clean them. And the red color is so beautiful. I, all I would say is in regard to the red bag, when you purchase it, purchase one that is in very, very good condition so that when you do clean it, you don't have to do such an invasive, intrusive cleaning process on your red bag. Now, the black vintage coach bags, they can take an intrusive cleaning process. You can scrub on them a little harder. It doesn't matter if they lose a little bit of color. They're black. They're going to be okay. But the red ones, you really don't want to lose any of the, the gorgeous red vibrant color on the bag. Okay, you guys, so I want you to remember to like, comment, and subscribe on my channel. However, I do want to ask you to do me a favor in the comment section down below. I'm going to be voting on the name of my mannequin. Now, I have three names in mind. Um, I've chosen three names that I'm thinking of naming my mannequin, and I'd like for you to go ahead and help me select the name of my mannequin, you guys. So I'm going to put the name, tell you guys the three names, and go ahead and vote in the comment section below, and let me know know what name you want to choose for me to name her okay so the first name is gonna be Raina Raina is the name of a queen it's a queen's name and it's a in Spain okay and um, I, I want you Raina my, I had my mom had a sister named Raina r-e-i-n-a my mom had a sister named Raina and I think it's a beautiful name and it's the name of a queen. So should I name my mannequin Raina? The second name is going to be Victoria. Victoria is also the name of a queen. So I want you guys to tell me, do you think I should name my mannequin Victoria? Let me know. Put it in the comment section below. And the last name, you guys, that I want, want to know if you guys think I should name my mannequin is Elizabeth. Do you guys think I should name my, my, my mannequin Elizabeth? So help me name my mannequin, you guys. Let me know if you want her name to be Queen Victoria, Queen Elizabeth, or Queen Raina. Comment in the comment section below, and I'll see you soon in another video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.